Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is another dream from Brother Anthony. He's one of our long-term YouTubers, YouTube subscribers. Excuse me. Listen to this. Now, you know, like I said before, I ad-lib as I read and I tell the story so it flows. Here's his dream. The dream was about me walking through a city. Now, I don't know where this city was, but it was huge. It was like a metropolis. I was going somewhere important. I was looking around and saw the number nine. I didn't pay it much mind. Then when I looked up again, I saw again another number nine. Mm. Then I started looking at a phone and across the top of my phone screen was nine, nine, nine. Mm. Well, that felt weird and strange, like something was getting ready to happen. So I went home and I got on my computer in the dream. I went to YouTube and I saw one of my friends making a video. She was talking about, guess what? The number nine. She held up the number nine. And for some reason, something happened and I woke up from the dream. But the number, that number nine was sharp, crystal clear. The next day I was looking on YouTube. Now I'm awake, right? I'm looking on YouTube and I saw a video. The name of the video was Apocalyptic Signs in the Heavens over Jerusalem. And for some reason, I saw the number nine again. As you know, now some of you may know, some of you may not know, but for your information, one of the meanings, one of the biblical meanings of the number nine is judgment. God's judgment. I did pray over that and everything else. I think we all need to pray. But listen, I hope all of you stay safe out there here and stay blessed. Well, thank you very much, Brother Anthony. This is Pat Love again and Pat's Two Cents. Now, we really don't know what's coming. There's a lot of uneasiness in the air. There is some hopelessness stirring up in this country now. But you should always focus on God. Don't focus on the wind and the waves. Focus on Jesus. Your safety is there. Your supernatural protection is there. Your supernatural provision is there. Do you hear me? Remember in the Old Testament when God had the Israelites... Israelites going through the wilderness following Moses and God spoke to Moses and said hit that rock or speak to the rock or whatever and the water gushed out he did it twice once he spoke the other he hit but let me tell you if God can get water from a rock and you are on God's side and God's on your side you can't get better off than that you don't need a president you don't need a government. You don't need the head of state. You don't need welfare. You don't need any of that stuff coming to your rescue when all the food and all the water dries up and you're wondering how are we going to make it now and there's no power and, and I mean you just have no idea what might be coming. What kind of devastations, what type of disasters can wreak havoc in our lives? We have no idea. But if you know God, you don't have to have an idea. All you have to do is call out to him. I'm telling you, it pays to reestablish if you have not yet done so. Establish. But for those of you who have strayed, reestablish your relationship with God. And tune your ear to his voice. 
He said, my children know my voice. So you must have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to his church. You and I are his church. When God speaks to you or me, we must have an ear. We can't be so locked into Facebook and, and Channel 2 and, and HBO and, and the, the cinemas and, and the, 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 uh, the video games and the telephone, the cell phones that we have tuned God out. We can't afford to do that. Not now. Okay? Not now. Tune into God. In every way possible. For your sake. For your family's sake. For this country's sake. Tune in to God. God bless you.